guess not. Wow. What happened? This place is a mess. It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. Professor, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again? I'm sorry. I'm... Oh, okay. What the heck? Stop that. You're creeping us out. <laughs> Initiating restart. The professor must have be having some weird connection problems or something. Well, it was definitely weird. At least, almost like... I don't know. If she meant it as a joke, it wasn't funny. I've still got goosebumps and all. Alright. All locks disabled. H Hello, can you hear me now? Please forgive my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. That's not what that was. What do you mean, Arvin? The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way to the Zero Lab, which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. That's a new Pokemon. Dun, dun, to dun, to dun sparse. Fryer is frying. Sweet. Five minutes. Okay. It doesn't work better, Alex. It just works different.
Hey guys, I'm back. Hi, Misfit. Welcome on in. The Dunsparce. This Pokemon uses its hard tail to make its nest by boring holes into bedrock deep underground. The nest can reach lengths of over six miles. One eighty nine. That is going to go to 13. And that we can release. Counts. Man, let's uh, we'll do that. TM. I spot a TM in the distance. Down we go. Oh, I'm, I'm fucking dead. This is, I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking. I'm, I'm glad oh, you finally oh, got no. this fit. if those legends of treasure down here are for real? Huh, yeah, right. That's just fluff. They write to fill the textbooks. I was about to say fluffy. Hello, children. You've done well to make it here. The structure you see before you is the Zero Lab. That's where you are, right, Professor? Fluffy is everywhere. But wait, why does it look like the whole place is being swallowed up by crystals? Crystals here in Area Zero possess a peculiar energy. This energy can alter the functions of living things and optimize the performance of machinery. 
It is the same energy that allows Pokemon to terrestalize. So this entire building's being terrestalized? Is that what you're saying? Don't be silly, Arvin. The Im professor implied something important about Terra Orbs just now. They're made from crystals down here in Area Zero, aren't they? Indeed, though not many know it. Since you have disabled all four locks, the gate to the Zero Lab should now open for you. But once you open the gate, you will quickly be confronted with the dangerous Pokémon inside. They will likely make a break for freedom. That sounds like a problem. With the four of you working together, you should be able to best them. Okay, Misfit. See you later. And if we're in, if I'm not on when you get back, wow, we're probably I love you guys. in Luke's Discord if you wanted to join that. And we love you too. Prepare yourselves well. Then open the gate. Oh right, and drive safe. Thank you for the twelve bits. Magic here doesn't matter what we're up against, we'll be fine. Ha, <laughs> well then. That puts all my worries to rest. into the lab. Look, if it's true that a bunch of really dangerous Pokemon might come out at us, then shouldn't we also have Coriodon help? Yeah, if Coriodon were like how we first saw it in the Inlet Grotto, that'd be a huge help. I want to see it battle. But it hasn't even wanted to let us ride it ever since we came down to Area Zero. And it can't enter its battle from form in, in the first place. But it's really strong it is. I know it is. I ate all those Herba Mystica we found, too. When it really matters, I'm sure it'll fight. And Area Zero is where it used to live. If you bring it out of its ball now, maybe it'll be able to find its family, too, right? That's pretty sensible by your standards, Arvin. I don't know. Go on, Magic. Let Coriodon out. Now that we've got Corey down ready, it's time to open that gate. happening. No way. Something's not right. Are you bummed that your heartwarming family you renewed got cut off so quickly? 
Are you joking? Yay, you're here with Mod Sticks. There was nothing heartwarming about it. We were this close to being getting caught up in a nasty brawl. Wait, for real? Just look at Coriodon. Poor thing's terrified. Guess that other one isn't exactly its pal. Yeah, that other Pokemon was giving off real bad vibes. Uh, not that you should worry a thing about any of that. Once we get you back into your battle form, I'm sure you'll be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against that jerk. If, you know, you want to. Guess they really didn't help. Do you think that other Coriodon was one of the dangerous Pokemon the Professor warned us to watch out for? But didn't the Professor say the dangerous Pokemon would come out from the inside? You mean from inside the gate we just... Oh dang. surrounded and it's pretty obvious they're not here to roll out a friendly welcome mat there's no way we can handle this many and don't tell me they're all ancient pokemon we've got a little disaster on our hands here look even the fellow's ready to bail then i guess it's my turn i've been waiting come on magic let's do this together is a worthwhile challenge. I'm glad you're on our side, but you're still really annoying when you say stuff like that. You're coming at me. Magic, help me out here. It's an Among Us. But it's a brute bonnet. Not very effective. Not very effective. Ancient past must have been terrifying. Their names are so yeah, I know. They're like, oh, what should we name it? I don't know, let's call it this. And it's like, what? If those Pokemon get out, we're gonna have a gigantic mess on our hands. We gotta go after them, Penny. Why me? Hold on, Nimona, and why do I get the feeling you're enjoying all this? Two of them can handle their part. But at least the crowd's been thinned out a bit. Guess it's up to us to deal with what's left. Let's go for this strong looking one first. I have a feeling. 
feeling that what they do is they just throw random letters into a, no a name generator and then just pull out whatever comes out recently. take on some of the burden. These stragglers should be nothing. Me and Mabistiff here can take them. So Magic, you take your partner there and go take care of business. Okay. Mabistiff can't wait to battle either. Coriodon. Really ruined my whole childhood, you know. <laughs> but it's not like seeing you cowering and scared out of your wits makes me feel any better about it. You've got amazing powers. If you just use them, and you've got us too, so don't you even think about losing to that jerk. Be brave, stand up and fight. You ruined my whole childhood, just letting you know that. Presence detected within the Zero Lab. Deactivating sleep mode. Hello, Magic. Thank you for coming. No. Back to your ball. Master ball. That one is far less tractable and far more aggressive than the one you've traveled with. Your Coriodon fled Area Zero because it lost to the other one in a territorial struggle. I'm afraid that there is something for which I must apologize. I am not the true Professor Sada. I am an artificial intelligence. The Professor created imbued with her memories and knowledge. In short, I am an AI-powered robot. The real Professor pa passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. The Pokemon was not to be blamed. It was the original professor who failed to accurately judge its full power. I believe the professor wanted nothing more than for the Coriodon to survive and thrive. That is why she threw herself in front of your Coriodon in an attempt to protect it. From the time I first reached out to Director Clavel and asked to be put in contact with you, I was never more than an AI. Magic, the reason I asked you to come to me is because I have one last thing to do here at the Zero Lab, and I desire your help. In short, I wish for you to put a stop to the time machine the original professor created. Any questions can be addressed as we make our descent. Follow me. Okay. that. Is there anything else down here? Doesn't look like it. Alright. This elevator will take us down to the lower level. Step inside. Answer any questions you may have. Is there anything you wish to know? An AI is an artificial intelligence created by a human being. A 
computer draws on the original professor's knowledge and memories to calculate all of my thoughts and actions. The results of these calculations are expressed by this mechanical body, built to resemble the professor in every way. Humanity does not, in fact, possess the knowledge to develop such a sophisticated AI at present. But the crystals that make up the Zero Lab have made such a thing possible here. They are also why I cannot leave this place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? As I explained to you before, the original professor no longer exists. During the destruction of the research station, her physical body received grievous injuries that left it unstable to sustain life. I am afraid that this fact may be difficult for her son, Arvin, to accept. I now manage the Zero Lab in the original professor's place. Is there anything else you wish to ask? The Time Machine is a device that the original professor and I worked on together. It sends Pokeballs to a different point on the timeline to catch Pokemon there, and it can then draw them back here to the present. When she was alive, Professor Sada had a great fascination with Pokemon from another age, which you might call Ancient Pokemon. Even as we speak, the Time Machine continues to automatically draw Ancient Pokemon to this time. Is there anything else? No, no, no. Good. Okay, the original Professor had a dream of a world in which Ancient Pokemon might live alongside present-day Pokemon in harmony. But these Pokemon's powers seem to stem from a primal energy of the ancient past, and this energy has proved too terrible. Their very existence brings destruction to the ecological, ecological balance of this modern age. The original professor would say that such destruction is a natural part of life. At present, the barrier around Area Zero is still working to keep the ancient Pokemon from escaping into the rest of Paldea. But we've begun to see Pokemon appear that can break the barrier, such as Great Tusk. Eventually, they will break free of this walled garden known as Area Zero and run rampant across the Paldea region. And when they do, the rich and varied ecosystem of Paldea will be trampled beneath their coming. I may have been created as a copy of the Professor, and yet I cannot seem to find the logic in allowing such a tragedy to occur. But any hope of preventing it would require overcoming the greatest AI that the original professor ever devised. Magic. You have become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength you have gained to destroy the dream Sada once cherished. Okay. I appreciate your willingness to help. We have reached the lowest level. This is the time machine we perfected using the power of the terrestrial phenomenon. Okay. To stop the time machine, you will need to use the professor's ID which has been embedded within the Scarlet Book. It was very like the professor to put the final key we would need in that book of all places. She loved that volume since childhood. If you place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. There is just one issue. If you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. Artificial being that I am, my own desires can be overridden by the system's programming. Once that happens, I'm afraid I will become no more than a battle machine bound to defeat anyone identified as an obstacle by my code. My battling abilities are peerless. They are built upon analysis of all the battles carried out by the various champions of the Paldea region. Having seen the bond between you and your Pokemon, however, I believe you can prevail. Once you have readied yourself for this fight, please place the Scarlet Book upon the pedestal. Sure. ID confirmed. Professor Sadegrid, Inicio Okay, bye. Activate 
lots of protocols. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm not about to let anyone get in the way of my goals. Slither. Try to bite. I'm very effective. Well, dang. See if that says anything. Six down. Yay. Flutter main. Yeah, that was ghost, wasn't it?
Everything is proceeding with expectations. I'm afraid the probability of winning is zero. Beat him. Woo! We did it, Alex. We, we beat him.
Definitely not as hard as the Elite Four. <laughs> Magic. Thanks, Alex. What is this? Did you already beat all the baddies without me? Okay, out with it, you. Who are you, really? Thank you for everything. The time machine has finally been stopped. You're really not my mom, are you? Oh, look how big you've grown. So proud of you, my... Sorry, you were alone, so... I can't read that. Security system failure. Threat to time machine detected. It's another army of Pokemon on his way here. It cannot be. An obstacle is preventing the time machine perform from performing as intended. Activate Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offending obstacle. What was keeping the time machine truly running? Call the professor, locking all Pokeballs except registered to Sada's ID. challenged by the Paradise Protocol Protection Protocol. Battle. You cannot battle without a Pokemon on the field. It's true, our Pokeballs won't work. How are we even supposed to battle? Not 
very effective. I'm glad I didn't use that. That's not very effective either. Collision course it is. Century. Tire Crotch versus Tire Crotch. Coriodon. Um, can I use a heal? Potion. My Terra Orb is glowing. Yes. Did it. It's not going berserk anymore. How very astounding. To think that you would manage to defy even the original professor's, professor's final protections. Are you back to normal? Yes, a completely unforeseen outcome. Even for an AI possessing the most sophisticated technology ever conceived. Even on the brink of despair, you children did not give in and instead proved your worthiness. Showing the wisdom to think for yourselves, the courage to hold faith in your friends, and the fortitude to do what had to be done. No matter how difficult your pasts may have been, I believe you will be capable of walking whatever paths you choose for yourselves now, with pride. I thank you, Magic. I thank all of you, children. But I am afraid that the time machine cannot be put to a complete stop so long as I am here. It appears I myself am part of the system that ensures the machine reboots when stopped. What does that mean? I am sorry. You know, when I was watching you all on your adventures from down here, I felt a sense of jealousy. I envied you your freedom, the way that you came together working in league with your fellows and caring for them. The way that you sought strength and to better yourselves, throwing all you are into your battles way that you would face down even the greatest enemies to save that which you loved. The way that you never ceased to seek nor to fight for a treasure all your own. Ah, and the
and the way that you soared free through the very skies on those wings of yours. I wish that I too might be as free as you as all. Free to seek out- Why are you amazing beautiful people and welcome- Well thanks Susan. Your own treasure. <laughs> as long as I remain here the time machine will not stop for I am inextricably, inextricably connected to it. So I've made a decision. I will use the time machine to journey to the world of the ancient past that I have dreamed of. What? You can't just leave now, right when we finally reached you. I am not going only so that the time machine can be stopped. I also cannot deny my desire to see the ancient world for myself. Is that what it feels like to have your heart race with the thrill of adventure? Arvin, I am sorry that I kept the truth from you for so long. I inherited all the thoughts and wishes of the professor, and so I understand better than any. Your mother truly loved you. You can't just go and say a thing like that now. No, I suppose you're right. I am sorry. Arvin, Coriodon, Magic, it is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Is that the last of the words? Because that'd be amazing. Looking at her chest. The game is. Just go, Mom. Arvin, you okay, bud? Yeah, somewhere deep down, I kind of already knew it. I knew that thing was fake, but it... When it said my name, using her voice and wearing her face, even if it was fake, it felt real, you know? And so I just... Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. That's okay. I guess Coriodon is sad too. Oh, but that battle form? How cool is that? It's so strong. If it tries to nudge at me for a belly rub while it's huge like this, I seriously think I'm gonna die. Hey now, let's not skip over the big win here. Magic and Coriodon just saved all Paldea. That's right, you both did amazing. Thanks, Magic. Yeah, that's my bud Magic for ya. You know, Arvin, um, even though the professor's gone, I bet she's finally having a real fun adventure of her own in the past. Yeah, thanks, Penny. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. What should we do now, Magic? Let's go home. You said it. Come on, everyone, let's make our way home. Okay. What a long black screen. That'd be funny if the game crashed. Okay. What up, baby? Hello, Alex. What up, baby? If we can load up on some snacks first, I'm in. Hey, Magic, not you too.
tonight, it could go either way. Hearts balanced on a razor blade. That is the credits. And that, I think, is the official beating of the game. Oh, party, party, yeah. Officially beat Pokemon Scarlet 100% minus the uh, um, Pokedex, but that's impossible since I don't have Violet yet and we don't have Pokemon Home at the moment. All right. While those credits roll, we're going to go ahead and raid out. So, um, no stream on Thursday because it's uh, Thanksgiving, but probably a stream on Friday in place of streaming on Thanksgiving.